Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Attack Point video. So today in this video, I will going to demonstrate on how to disassemble your heatsink and reapply thermal paste on it. So Lenovo Y50 comes with 4710HQ Core i7 processor, which is capable of uh, running the processor at the speed of 3.5 GHz. But due to CPU throttling, it always run at 2.5 GHz. So CPU throttling is a technique in a computer architecture where the frequency of microprocessors can be automatically adjusted to conserve power and to reduce amount of heat generated by the chips. So Lenovo Y50 comes with really good thermal system but still it manages to underclock the CPU in intensive work. This is very annoying as the laptop don't take full advantage of turbo boost of Core i7. Um, this processor can be maxed out to 3.5 GHz, so let's check out how it performs before and after reapplying new thermal paste. So the software which I am going to use to uh, disable CPU throttling is Throttle Stop 6.0. So let's run this before I reapply the thermal paste. As you can see, the software is running at full multiplier which is 35t and I uncheck the BD root check and then I run the benchmark. As you can see the temperature is reaching more than 90 degrees Celsius which is not good at all for the CPU and hardware. So now let's deassemble the whole stuff. So things required in this process will be thermal paste. This is the Arctic Silver 5 which is available easily in India and as well as internationally you can buy it from ebay.com or amazon.com. So the second thing will be uh, earbuds. This is just a simple cleaning tool to clean small ICs and components above the CPU and GPU. Some isopropyl alcohol is also required. This will help us to clean heatsink and old thermal paste on chips available. The things uh, you will need, then another thing you will need is the tissue paper. And the last thing is Phillips screwdriver to just open up your laptop and heatsink component. So now let's begin with deassembling your Lenovo Y50. So first of all you will need to... So now let's unscrew all the bottom screws from your Lenovo Y50. Once you unscrew all of them you just need to lift your bottom case up and push it towards the hinge which will not gonna break your clips out there. Once you deassemble your bottom case you will see all the internal components and you will find that there is some dust inside it. As you can see on my ear when there is some dust, I will gonna clean it up by uh, via tissue paper or some sort of isopropyl alcohol. And once I cleaned it up, I will gonna deassemble my heatsink. Uh, first recommendation will be unplug your battery. So first of all, you just need to unplug your battery and then unscrew the heatsink, which as I am doing right now. This is a very easy process. You just need to unscrew all of them. And once you unscrew the, all of them, you will find that heatsink is loosen up. You will just need to put uh, pull it up towards top and it will gonna pop up open once you see uh, once you open the heatsink you will find that cpu and C cpu and gpu is consist of old thermal paste and it seems to be very messy out there so you just need to take time in cleaning all the thermal uh, paste compound which is uh, old thermal paste compounds on your cpu and heatsink so just take your time and clean it up properly because thermal paste is a component which passes heat to components if it's uh, if old thermal paste stuck around it will gonna create problem. many problem and it will gonna heat up your chips again so just clean it up properly and once you clean it up properly you just need to apply thermal paste and i'm gonna use the peanut method which is just a drop of thermal paste on every component so there's only two components cpu and gpu on cpu i will be using straight method and on gpu i will be using peanut method once you're done with that you just need to place your heat sinks one again and you have to screw all the screws in cross manner so that uh, the heat sink and uh, component below will be balanced out and the thermal paste is spread equally so after I screw all of them you have to make sure that everything is settled down properly if you need more cleansing I will gonna recommend to open up your fan as well and clean it up via toothpaste or if you have uh, some sort of pressure air or compressed air you can use that to clean your fan as well because fan also plays very important role in clean 
in cooling of your laptop so i'm gonna clean my fan as well once you're done with that you just need to assemble it back again and pack your bottom case and just retest it out once more time that how your laptop performs as in this video i will going to show you after the after reapplying the thermal paste how my laptop performed as you can see after reapplying the thermal paste and cleaning and every those all of those stuff my laptop is doing pretty great as you can see the temperature is not going above 75 degrees celsius this is just amazing i am running at full pace 3.5 gigahertz and my laptop is not overheating at all so this is how you can use your laptop at full pace and this is how you can make your laptop more snappier and more quicker thanks for watching i hope this video helps you guys a lot if you want more videos like this and you if you want any tweak and updates on lenovo y50 you can just put in comment down below i will going to cover them in future videos thanks for watching this is deep single from attack point peace